Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to teach you how to troubleshoot pagination when Parsub is not able to select the Next Page button on every single page. Sometimes, Parsub selects the Next Page button based on its position in the pagination bar, which can change from page to page. Or, it can select both the Previous and Next Page buttons on subsequent pages. This tutorial will show you how to deal with this. Click on the New Project button and enter the URL of the website you want to scrape. For this particular tutorial, I'm going to scrape a list of the top 1,000 companies in Singapore. Once the URL is entered, click on the Start Project on this URL button. Let's assume we want to extract the company name and logo for each company. There is already an empty select command in our project, so we are going to go ahead and click on the first company name on the page. The selection will now be highlighted in green. Click on one of the company names highlighted in yellow in order to select the rest of the company names on this page. You can rename the select command by clicking on selection one and typing in the new name. I will rename this command to company. To extract a logo for each company, we are going to use the relative select command. Click on the plus sign next to select company and choose the relative select command. Click on an orange highlight around one of the company names and an arrow will appear. Use this arrow to select the corresponding logo for this company. Rename the select command to logo. To add pagination, click on the plus sign next to select page and add a select command. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the button that says next on it. Now that the button is selected, we are going to rename the select command to next. Now click on the plus sign next to select next and add a click command. Choose yes when asked if this is a next page button and then click on repeat current template at the bottom of the pop-up. At this point, the second page of results will load in Parsub. But when you click on select next and look at what it's selecting, you'll see the next page button is not being selected. To fix this, click on the select next command to activate it and then click on the Next button on the website again. This will pick up the Next Page button, but also the Previous Page button. We are going to use the Conditional command to prevent Parsub from clicking on the Previous Page button. First, click on the Trash Can icon next to Begin New Entry in Next to delete this command. It is not necessary for this method. Now, click on the plus sign next to Select Next, click on Advanced, and then choose the Conditional command. We are going to use the condition $e.text equals next. This expression says that the condition will only execute the commands that are underneath it if the button says next on it. Now, click on the plus sign next to the condition and re-add the click command. To test whether or not the project is working properly, you can click on the Get Data button and then on Test Run. Before you start the test run, open up the main template and click on the red button next to Select Next. This will pause the test run at the pagination step. Click on the fast forward button to quickly get to the pagination step. Once the test run gets to the pagination step, click on the step in button to move through the test run step by step. You can see that it clicks on the correct button on the first page and now we can double check that it is working on the second page as well.
it looks like pagination is now set up correctly. This tutorial shows you how to troubleshoot pagination. If you have any questions about Parsub, feel free to email us at hello at parsub.com. We're always happy to help.